Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve and welcome back to the channel. So it just dawned on me the other day that a lot of people are buying these new television sets and they're not happy with the picture quality. Well, there's a reason for it. A lot of people are watching the older TV signals or the current TV signals that's out there in the market. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys the different ways that you can get 4K content on your television set. So sit back and relax and let's get started. So to give you guys an example of what I'm referring to, right now I'm recording at 1080 lines of picture and if you have a larger 4K television that you're watching this on, you're going to probably notice it's a little blurry when I expand this footage up to 4K. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, that's better. Now the biggest problem is, is that if you have a TV set can do 4,000 lines of resolution, but you're only running 1,000 lines through it, then you're losing part of the picture quality because it's been expanded. So a lot of companies are doing what they call up converting to basically help out with that signal. Now companies that broadcast over the air generally have a 720 line picture or 1,080. So if you go out and buy a new television set, you're probably not going to get the benefits of it. So let me go and show you guys some ways that you can get this true 4K on your television set. So here's the first thing I was referring to. A lot of people have basic Netflix and for $9 a month, you can watch it on one television and you can get standard definition. And that generally means about 720 lines of picture. Now for $12.99, you can jump up to two TVs and you can get what they call high definition. And that's gonna give you 1,080 lines of picture. But if you have a 4K television, this is actually only 25% of the picture quality your TV set can actually do. Now the next service is called Premium. Now this is actually what you need to upgrade to, and I know it's almost double the price, but it lets you watch it on four devices, but it gives you the HDR, and it gives you the 4K resolution that you need on most of your signals. In addition to that, I will tell you that it does support Dolby Vision. Now let me take you over to the TV set so I can show you what to look for. So here I have a Hisense Roku television set that I've had in a previous video, but here's Netflix. So when I click on it, it's gonna open up the application. So as you switch to these different movies by having that upgraded signal, you can see right here it says Ultra HD 4K. Now this one is HD back to 1080, back to 1080. This one has Dolby Vision and back to Ultra HD 4K. So that's what you need to do if you want to get 4K signal on Netflix. The second way is actually to use Amazon Prime. Now, the great thing about Amazon Prime, as long as you pay for the subscription every year, any movies that's in 4K, you actually get included in your package. But keep in mind, you still can rent these titles as well. The way to get to the movies is right here where it says count and list, and then go down here where it says your Prime videos. And once you get here, if you click on categories, you can scroll down right here where it says 4K UHD. Now at this point, you can see there's a 4K on all these titles right here. Now mind you, it doesn't work on everything, but at least you have some options for 4K. And all these movies are going to give you the best resolution. Now if you click on the Prime Video, and you also can go to the search on the application and type in 4K. Then you can go down here to where it says 4K UHD videos. And pretty much all the videos on this list will be in 4K. Let me show you a few more examples of what you can do to get 4K on your new television set. Another way to get 4K content is a service called Vudu. Now this Vudu service is basically you can rent the different movies or TV shows that you like. At the top here, you can see when you press movies, you have an option that says 4K UHD. And these will be all the different options that you can have based off of 4K content. And under new release dates, these are the most current ones. And you can see there's a rental price. For example, if you look at this one, this is $5.99 to rent it. Here's another one for $19.99. So the prices are not set. It's all based off of the popularity of the movie. You can also rent TV shows and you see you can do networks, 
And there's also a selection of free movies, but I doubt if those are going to be in 4K. Or even sign in right here. And they do have applications that you can use as well. The next option you have is Hulu. Now I will tell you, Hulu is very, very limited. And it starts from $6 a month all the way up to $54 a month if you want live TV. Now when it comes to 4K, you can see they do have an option right here for 4K Ultra HD up to 60 frames per second. The only problem for me is that by looking at this, you assume that every single program has 4K, but that's not the case. It's a very selective few videos that has 4K capabilities. Also, if you want to do 4K, you must have 16 megabits per second internet access, and you also have to have one of these supported devices. And it's kind of odd that Samsung's not on this list, but LG is. Another way to watch 4K content is Sling TV, kind of. So if you go down here, you can see they have, like you can get $30 a month, you get the blue package, or you can do the orange package. But if you scroll down a little bit farther down the screen here, all I can see right here, it says high quality 4K streaming capabilities. Now it doesn't tell you what channels are available, which networks are available. I wish they can distinguish what's the difference between what does 4K and what doesn't. Also, it has some compatible devices. And you can see right here under the FAQ, again, there's not much on 4K. When I see stuff like this, it makes me wonder if you get a new television set, is this the best programming to go with? Another way you can get 4K content is through DirecTV. Now the great thing about DirecTV is that they're putting this right on their front page that we have 4K. And that's pretty impressive because a lot of companies are hiding the fact if they do or they don't. If you're familiar with DirecTV, they actually have a lot of sports events and these are actually recorded and played back in 4K as well. They even have a dedicated page showing you how to get 4K. As you can see here, they have on demand on channel 1104 and there's over 1500 titles. And here's a list of the movies. You can also buy them on demand. They have documentaries and they're pushing DC comics right here as well. And here's another page showing their sporting events, but with everything going on in the world, unfortunately it looks like they're going to lose out this year on some different programming. Now there's a lot of other ways you can get 4K content, including Disney Plus, HBO Max. Also you can get on Showtime, the YouTube channels, and many others. So just kind of give you an idea of what to look for if you want to get 4K content. And you can also get 4K content on Xbox One, Xbox X, and you also can get it on the PlayStation Pro. So these are some other examples of how to get 4K content on a 4K television. You guys should now have a better understanding of what to expect when you upgrade to a newer television set. And mind you, these old TV sets are actually native to the 1080 or 720 signal, so they may appear to look better than the new ones. But time must move on and technology must move on. So what are you supposed to do? I'm TechD. Make sure you go check out one of these videos in the playlist below. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.